slightly left click to lock that in position okay i'm going to come back over here and again i'm going to look at the number of edges i have i need to reduce them some more okay so i'm just going to press Control tab and left select vertex and we'll see what happens when i left select this one press and hold shift select this one press alt m and select at last okay that doesn't look too bad i'm going to do exactly the same thing over here I'm going to left select this one press and hold shift and select this one press alt m for merge and left select at last okay so we have currently still a couple too many coming back here we've one two three four five six seven eight nine ten with ten so we need to reduce that by two more okay what i can do is left select this one press and hold shift and select this one press alt m and merge at last left select this one press and hold shift select these two press alt m and merge at last okay so i think that should bring us in fairly close okay it's gonna press control tab and left select edge mode i'm going to press alt and select this entire edge press seven for top view i'm just going to press e to extrude and extrude this back left click to lock that in i'm going to press s and scale this down and just left click when i'm happy i'm going to come over here to front view and press s to scale y for or sorry z for the z axis and just scale this up left click when i'm happy lock that in position okay his fingers are a little bit short in certain places but anyway something that can be modified later now i am going to press tab and left select object mode I need to merge sorry i need to join both of these and it's important to select the hand first that that only has a subdivision surface and press and hold shift and select the arm or the main body of the mesh i'm going to press ctrl j to join and that should also mirror the hand to the far side okay so I can press tab now and left select edit mode now what i want to do is join these so i'm going to press Control tab and left select vertex and i'm going to left select this one here and i'm going to join them to the closest looking vertices that are coming off the arm so i'm going to press and hold shift and left select this one press alt m and i'm going to join at center so or merge at center so left click again i'm going to do exactly the same thing left select this vertex press it and hold shift and select this one press alt m and merge at center it's going to rotate by pressing and hold holding the middle mouse button I'm going to select this vertex press and hold shift press alt m and merge at center and again left select press and hold shift left select alt m and merge at center and just press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate I'm gonna left select this one press and hold shift and select this press alt m and merge at center and again just middle mouse button just to rotate to the next set of vertices left select press and hold shift press alt m and merge at center and again the next two left select press and hold shift alt m and merge at center and finally the last two so i'm going to left select this vertex i'm going to press and hold shift and left select this one press alt m for merge and left click at center okay i'm just going to press one and i'm going to press and hold alt and select left select this entire vertice group press s and just scale this down slightly 
just left click to lock that in okay and just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom out press a to deselect okay so that's his hands in position as you can see they need a little bit of work and we need to join the thumb up to the main body but for the moment i'm going to leave it there i'm going to just press ctrl s and save this and i'll continue modeling or i'll join this in the next tutorial so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series today i'm going to continue where we left off the last time by joining the hand or joining the thumb to the hand rather okay so what i want to do is match the same amount of edges that we have around this cylinder which is eight with eight edges around this section here of the hand so what i'm going to do is press Control tab and left select and left select face okay so if i select four of these faces here by left clicking and press and hold press and hold shift and select the four of these i'm just going to press delete and left select faces i'm going to press Control tab now and come back to edge selection mode okay what i want to do is select this entire edge and select this entire edge here and bridge them okay so i'm going to press and hold alt and left select this edge i'm going to press and hold shift and press and hold alt and select this edge okay i'm just going to drag this back slightly now i'm going to press t and bring up this property panel and i'm going to scroll down to the bottom to edge loop tools and open up this okay and the top one here i'm going to left click bridge okay that bridges it and that but as you can see there's some options down here and you can see segments one so there's one segment between this joint and this joint i'd rather have two just so there's a better curve so i'm just going to check knock this up to two segments okay and i'm happy with that i'm going to press one and just go into front view okay now there are some modifications to be made to this thumb i'm just going to press seven for top view this finger over here is a little bit short so i'm just going to press z and left select wireframe i'm going to press a to deselect everything okay and i'm just going to make sure i'm in edge selection mode i'm going to press i'm actually going to select vertex selection mode i'm going to press Control tab and left select vertex i'm going to press and hold Control and press and hold the, the right mouse button and just lasso select the top of these here i'm just going to press g and drag this out slightly and left click when i'm happy to lock that in position okay now i'm just going to press z and reselect solid shading i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button now before i continue any further i'm going to press tab and left select object mode i'm just going to come up here to this property panel again you can press t if you don't have it displayed and i'm just going to left click smooth shading and that just gives gives us a better impression of our character i'm just going to press t to remove that property panel i'm going to press tab and reselect edit mode and as you can see that smooths out the mesh nicely so what i'm going to do now is just come back to the hand and maybe make some modifications make it more make it more hand like mm -hmm. but that's going to be it for this tutorial so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I think I'm going to add some shoes to this character. So I'm going to right click and place the cursor at the bottom. I'm going to press tab and left click object mode. Okay, I want to add a separate object 
for the shoe to begin modeling so I'm going to press shift A and mesh and left select cube okay now I'm just going to grab it here and drag it over I'm going to press S to scale this down and left click to lock it in just going to drop the, grab this in the X direction press S to scale Z for the Z axis and I'm just going to make this the sole to begin with okay and S again to scale and Y for the Y axis and just drag it to more or less the length that I want and just drag it down to its position okay and in front view I'm going to press S to scale X for the X axis and just drag that in <clears throat> okay I'm going to press tab now I'm going to edit mode I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button I'm just going to press the backslash key or the squiggle line just to isolate this object and what I want to do is put some loop cuts across this so I'm just going to press Control R left click once just drag this forward and left click to lock it in Control R again and left click once drag it forward left click to lock it in I'm just going to press 3 and I'm going to Control R, put another one in here, left click, lock it in. I'm just going to drag this up slightly. Okay. Going to put another loop cut in here, left click once, drag it down, and I'm just going to drag this up slightly as well. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here to the object modifiers panel and left click add modifier. I'm going to choose subdivision surface. I'm going to Put the views up to 2, optimal display, and allow us to see this in edit mode. <clears throat> I'm just going to press Z and bring up solid shading. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a loop cut around the edge of this to begin with. So loop cut there, drop it down towards the bottom. Okay. I'm going to put another one in the top of it. So Control R left click once just drag it up to about its position okay now what i want to do is press control tab and left select edge mode and just select all these edges around the top and press e to extrude and z for the z axis and just just bring it up slightly and left click to lock that in i'm just going to press 3 and go into side view Okay, I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. And I'm just going to press S and just scale this in to about there. Left click, lock that into position. Again, I'm just going to press 3. I'm going to press S to scale Z for the Z axis 0 and enter. I just want to flatten that out. Okay. Now I'm just going to press E to extrude again. Right click and just press S and scale this in a little bit okay now I'm just going to select this edge press and hold shift and select and select these five edges here I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude that up in the Z so I press Z and then left click to lock it in I'm just going to press S and scale this in Okay, scale this into about here. Maybe just drop this back down slightly. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the back edges. I'm going to left click, press and hold shift and select. And just ensure that I select the correct edges coming around here. Okay, I'm just going to press 3 for side view. I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude up. Press Z and make sure I go up in the Z axis. Okay. Left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. I'm just going to press S to scale and just scale that in ever so slightly. Okay, I'm going to again select these front edges here over to this point and I'm going to press F and just fill that in. Okay, and that'll form the front of my shoe. I'm just going to modify this ever so slightly, just give it a better, a better looking form. I can grab those two and press S and X and just drag this out. I can do the very same for these three, S and X, and just 
give it a bit of body 